Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Works 11 in Katowice, Poland, taking a look at a couple of really cool, really rare Polish small arms. Specifically today, we have the PT-83. This is the integrally suppressed version of the Polish P-83 standard army pistol, and it was ordered by the Polish military basically as soon as regular army pr pistol production began. They decided that they wanted a sneaky silent version. Now, it would take a couple of years to actually do the development on these pistols, and well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave the spoiler for what ended up happening with them until after we take a closer look at exactly how it works. So we'll start here, I'll just give you a comparison. This is a standard, actually it's like a prototype, but a standard P83 pistol. Obviously you can see the similarities, it's essentially from here back a standard pistol, but they have changed up everything on the front end. So if you're going to try and make a version of a pistol like this silent, one of the things you're going to want to do is actually lock the slide, and that's something that we see with a lot of silenced pistols. Take for example the US Navy Hush Puppies, where there's a, an actual slide lock lever. Now the Poles did one better than that system here because they made this automatically locking. If we look right here in front of the trigger, there is a bar that has been added. Go ahead and cock the hammer. When I pull the trigger, you can see that this bar drops down, and when it comes down, it actually locks the slide in place. So I can't open the slide as long as I'm holding the trigger, because I'm holding those locking blocks down. As soon as I release the trigger, the hammer rebounds, those locking blocks return upward, and now the slide can open. The way that this would work in practice is you would fire your shot, that locks the slide, the gun goes pfft, fires a bullet, nothing else happens, you then release the trigger, you then manually rack the slide to extract and eject the empty case, and it then loads a new cartridge, and you're ready to fire a second time. So when we think about the mechanical design of the pistol, there are a couple important elements. One is that on the original P83s, the recoil spring is located around the barrel. Well, we have a suppressor around the barrel right now, so something's got to give. What gave was this. They have relocated the recoil spring to be underneath uh, the suppressor, and in this position it also acts as a lock to hold the suppressor uh, both oriented correctly and to prevent it from unscrewing. Basic mechanics here of the pistol, it is double action, or DASA, currently cocked for single action, uh, but trigger does work in double action as well. This is serial number 4 of PT83, it's serialized on the frame and the slide up there. Sights are always an issue with suppressed pistols, and in this case they have gone ahead and mounted fixed sights on the suppressor body itself. The safety is still functional. Uh, the slide release is also there. Uh, there's the cutout for the slide lock on the standard pistol. And they've, they've kept it in place here on the suppressed version. So disassembly of this is a little bit more complicated than a standard P83. What we have to do is take this two-part plunger of a recoil spring and take it out. Notice there's a hole here and a hole on the second part of the plunger there. What I'm going to do is line those up and then compress this until I have that hole right there. And then I'm going to wedge a paper clip in it. Now the recoil spring slides out the front, like so, and being very careful that this doesn't come apart and go flying across the room, set that aside. Then I can pull the slide off the back, and it won't come out, or won't come off, because this won't uh, get around the suppressor, but I can basically just pull it back and hold it here. And the pin on the back of the spring, that pin right there was locking the suppressor in place into the frame. So with the spring off, I can now unscrew the suppressor. That comes off, and then the slide comes off. The barrel of the PT-83 is actually the exact same length as the standard P-83 barrel. It just has had 
vents added to it to reduce the muzzle velocity uh, to make sure that the projectile does not go supersonic, doesn't create a supersonic crack. You can now see these two locking lugs connected to the trigger there. And then we have our suppressor assembly. I can take the front cap off. There we go. And we have a stack of a whole bunch of just very simple metal baffles inside <coughs> with three screw headed uh, guide rods holding them all together and uh, in proper alignment. You can't really see in the back very well. There is a small expansion chamber right where these pins are located is the hub where the barrel actually threads in. So that's how the barrel is positioned inside. You've got a small bit of an expansion chamber here and then a whole bunch of baffles. If we take a little bit of a closer look here at the slide, again compared to a standard slide, you can see all they did was cut the slide off at the front and then weld on this, basically these two arm assemblies. You can see the, the joint right there where they went on to the original slide. It's always really cool to take a look at the, the silenced versions of standard pistols. And uh, what ended up happening with the PT-83 design is, well, it took longer to get it figured out and into production than the Army really expected, and it turned out to be more difficult than they expected, and also they realized that they didn't actually really need them in the first place. And so by 1987 or 88, the whole project was abandoned, and ultimately they only made maybe a couple dozen uh, basically prototypes of the gun. It was never issued, it never went into mass production, and there are only a very small number of them still surviving today. So big thanks to Works 11 for giving me access to this particular one to show to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.